Hey guys, it's your pal Ed Said. What do you think we're talking about today? Whole grains! That's right, we're gonna find out what's cracking with whole grains. Ed goes to school just like you. Ruby has to learn and study too. There's reading science, math, and history, but he really loves learning how to be healthy. He's learning all about the best food for his plate. He's learning that exercise helps him feel great. This healthy information with physical education, where he gets his inspiration and his motivation. We find him in conversation with his friends, participation in learning situations. Yeah, and his name is Ed, and this is what he said. He's Ed said, Ed said to be his friend. Ed said, time to recommend. It's what's in his head in the form of a rhyme that you can learn and sing all the time because it's not hocus pocus. Being healthy keeps you focused. We're in this together, so we can all feel. I'm here to see my friend Mitchell. He's a baker. I'm hoping he can tell us something about whole grains. Oh, hey, Ed. Good to see you. Oh, hi, Mitchell. I'm really hoping you can help me out. I'm wanting to learn about whole grains. Do you use whole grains in your bakery? Yes, I do. There are many different types of whole grains that are used to make all different types of foods, like oatmeal, for instance. I use that when I make oatmeal cookies. Well, that makes a lot of sense, but that's the only whole grain you use, right? No, Ed. I use flour which is made from wheat, which is another whole grain, and I use it to make all sorts of things, like cookies and cakes and pies and bread. Other whole grains can be turned into things like pasta or taco shells. Even popcorn is a whole grain. Whoa, that is amazing. So many different uses of grain. Now, I have seen wheat growing in a farmer's field before, but how does that Wheat become a cupcake? Great question, Ed. When the wheat is ready to be harvested, it's taken to a mill to be processed. The wheat bran, which is the outer layer of the grain, is ground along with the wheat germ and the flour to make whole wheat flour. Since whole wheat flour still has all of its parts, it still has all of its nutrients. We use whole wheat flour to make things like whole wheat bread. Wait a second. Did you know I was coming here today because this is really weird and oddly convenient to have all of these bowls here on your counter? It's not weird. It's a bakery. Now, bran can be separated and used all by itself to make things like bran muffins or bran flakes for your cereal. It's really good for you because it's high in fiber and has lots of iron. This is white flour. This has had all of the bran and the wheat germ removed from it. This is what we use most in the bakery to make things like cookies and cupcakes. Cool, now wait a second. It still doesn't look like a cupcake. There have to be more steps to the process, right? Well, yes. I take this white flour and I mix it with butter and sugar and eggs and milk and turn it into a batter. And then we put that batter into a cupcake tin and put it in the oven and bake it for however long. When it comes out, we cool it, put icing on it, and there you go. Wow, it's like magic. Thanks, Mitchell. Now I know the whole thing about whole grains. <laughs> One of the first things when I start my day It's whole wheat toast on my breakfast plate Or maybe grits that are made from corn Or a bowl of oatmeal which is nice and warm All of these foods start out whole grains But all whole grains are not the same There's rice and oats, there's bran and wheat Plus maize and quinoa which are also neat I love the whole grain, yes the whole grain Find them in my whole wheat toast It's amazing and corn In my brown rice, in my bran and in my oats Yes it's the whole grain No it's not plain my breakfast choice to keep my head in the game. It's so high in fiber, but the fat is low. That's why whole grains are the way to go. They're planted in rows in the farmer's fields, then harvested and ground in mills. They become ingredients in the foods we know, and there are more nutrients when the grain is kept whole. Like good carbohydrates that are pretty complex to keep your legs running and your muscles flexed. With a boost of fiber and B vitamins, whole grains are amazing. I'll say it again. I love the whole grain. It's the whole grain. Find it in my whole Well, who knew that whole grains were in so many of the foods that we love? This has been Ed Said with a message for your head. There's no excuse. Put it to use. Bye. 
Go to the recipe section of my website where Rebecca Turner will show you how to make a banana wrap with a whole grain tortilla.